Hello, welcome back to Simply Caro, or She's Just Simply Caro. I had said that I was not going to do too much of anything else other than probably Tablescape, but I just decided that, okay, maybe it's a little unfair that I don't bring them along with other things that I am decorating throughout my living space. Sorry about that glare. That, again, is a Dollar Tree lamp that got that glare going on. This is a console that I have underneath my TV. And this is a basket. I do not decorate with Christmas trees. It's been years since I decorated with a Christmas tree. But I do bring live greenery into my home. I've been using this and refreshing it since the first of the fall, ever since September, October. So this has been a ongoing process, but I enjoy it because it brings so much life into my space. What I have here is, let me go back. That's my TV. So what I have here is a console. It's a bookshelf with things on it underneath there. But I added cedar branches. This bust of David, a candle stand with a white candle on it, and I have an artificial garland, which is so old, you all, it's falling apart, but I still kept it up there. Okay, here is just some ornament that has seen this last day, probably can't use it anymore after this year. Some fairy lights, but I think I'm going to change the fairy light. Hmm, that lamp is just blaring. Hold on a minute. Let me turn it off. See, it's dark in there. That's why I have the lamp there. So, anyway, I refresh these cedar branches off and on. By the time I get to Christmas, I probably already cut down about a half a cedar tree. But anyway, that's not so. It doesn't take that many branches, but it takes you keep um, making them fresh. And so that gives you exercise and things to do, of course. I stuck this pick in here that I normally have in decoration. It's a long one. I got it from Hobby Lobby quite some time ago. That wooden stem. And I placed one on this end as well. You already know I don't start you from the rough draft or anything. That's not what I do. I guess it's that classroom type thing with me. But anyway, I also decorate with these little flowers here. I don't do not know what they're called. Been had them for about six, seven years, but I still keep them. I decorate spring, summer, and fall with them on my outside decor when it comes to my door, you know, pieces that I put on my door. Well, Anyway, these are sheets of old French cookbook leaves that I, uh, leave a paper, so, listen to me, pages that I, uh, roll and I tape together and I decorate little things with it. So I decided to stick some in here. So this is what it looked like if I stand far away and... I don't like blinking lights either. These lights are run by battery. And it says that you can control the eight motions or whatever. And I can never get them to stand still. I These are wooden branches. I think I showed you the haul with these. It's been back in the summer. But I keep those stuck there. And what I did was also... Place some live cedar branches in that as well. Hopefully, we're a week out from Christmas. I will not have to do it. If I do, I don't mind. Just cut them and make sure that they're fresh again. I hung some of these farm bees on the outside of this particular basket that is on a stand. And above it, it's three Christmas trees, and this is the three wise men here. What I am going to do with this space underneath it is make 
a Christmas tree shape. Let me see, can I show you what I am going to do? It's a little difficult for me to do it holding this camera. So if I can get to, to the point where I can show you, I am going to put them on the wall, one going to the left, one going to the right, and I am going to have them in different sizes go all the way down and then give you the appearance of a Christmas tree. That's because I don't have a Christmas tree. Okay. In my living room as well, let's see here. This is a sectional couch. So I have my different pillows on the couch and a throw. I didn't go out and buy anything. These pillows are from last Christmas. We was in the pandemic and I ordered them from Amazon. So I kept them exactly that way. And this chair, I am gonna move this chair out because it has the yellow. So I just put a white throw and then I put a red throw and kept that, but I am going to change it out, which I do switch chairs out in this area here off and on. And I am going to put a more like a wing back chair uh, that wouldn't clash with uh, Christmas decor. Don't we go through some changes trying to make things appear for the Christmas holiday? But it's fun. This is a wreath that I placed up here and I put a holiday greeting ribbon up top of the red velvet ribbon that's going out on my porch um i'm gonna swept out here so many times i hate to even take you out here but this right here is i put the same cedar branches on my porch railing as well and it looks a whole lot better at night and that is my regular lights. This is my door outside of my, uh, on my patio. And I also placed the uh, pillars in my rockers. So that's about it. I don't want you to see anything else because of the back. It is so many leaves out there. I can sweep, 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 and guess what? It'll all come right back. So anyway, it keeps the old lady a little bit busy but I just want to touch bases with you and show you about what it is that I am doing in my living space I this is uh, Joseph poinsettia some more greenery wooden links that is on the side table some boxes that I covered in tartan paper I keep my candles in the window burning. Guess what? 12 months a year, 365 days. Always keep it that way. Well, anyway, that is what I am doing in my living room. I hope you're still enjoying your Christmas holiday. And coming up during the Hanukkah time of the year, Christmas. And I may... You know, I already told you I'm about lazy about this thing here. I may post something else that I am doing. I won't be having any company or anything. It's just me. Uh, but uh, for Christmas, I may go to my son's house for to see my granddaughter do some little opening up her gifts. And the day after Christmas is when I plan to have dinner for family members. So I have about 13, 12 or 13 people coming over. So I will be busy with that. Thank you so much. Please consider to subscribe to my channel. Give me a comment. If you like something I am sharing, please give me a thumbs up and follow me here on YouTube. It's been four months and I'm still struggling. Help me. Bye-bye. Enjoy.